to my channel. Today, I'm going to share you something about my past experience. It was in the middle of the winter on a dark smoggy night. Chills were running through the house in and out of the room like a quiet ghost, silently coming and silently going. As I lay awake on the bed under the blanket, and I was just thinking about the assignment which my class teacher of grade 6 had given me. Then I heard a voice. Tofa. Well, that's uh, my pet name. Uh, please clean the incense burner stand because we have to burn some frankincense and camphor. It was none other than my mom. Although I did not want to wake up from the bed, because it was very cold outside but I cannot deny my mom. So I just rose up from the bed and went to wash the stand. The moment I was about to wash the stand, I found some camphor balls still sticking from the previous use. And then what I did is like I thought let me put this camphor balls in the water and wash it off. The moment I put those camphor balls on the water, do you know what happened? Even I was surprised. Those camphor balls started to dance and they started to move from one place to another. But a student of grade 6 didn't understand that why these balls are moving around. But one question I had in my mind, if these balls are moving or dancing, and if I am going to attach these camphor balls at the back of a floating material, that floating material is also going to dance or maybe that floating material is going to move from one place to another. So I was just thinking the whole night I thought what I am going to do. Then I went to the school and then I had a conversation with my teacher. Then she explained to me this is how the camphor balls or what is the mechanism or what is the science behind that. So I thought let me try that. Then I returned back from school and I started doing it and I was successful. So, so I was very fascinated and I just enjoyed thoroughly. Are you ready to do the same experiment with me? Let's get started. Things required are bowl of water. You can take any bowl for that matter. I have used brass bowl which was there at my place. Camphor balls. Some nail paint which is very optional. Otherwise you can use sketch pad for that matter. Scissor. And the main thing is this. I have taken this uh, plastic cover. I had purchased some fruit from the market and this is the base actually. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this plastic. I'm going to take the shape of a boat. So my boat is already ready and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to color that. Let me take this color. I'm just using the colors to make it look attractive. That's it. 
because I want my board should be colorful, it should be like catchy. That's the reason I'm just using colors. You can skip this step also. See, now my board is looking great. Okay, before keeping it aside for a while so that the nail paint dries, I'm going to take this cam for balls and attach it here, fix it here. And keep it for drying. Uh, I'll keep it here for drying. Now my boat is already ready. That means the boat is dried up. And I'm going to put this boat in this water. Let's see what is happening. Slowly I'll just put it here. Okay, see my boat. Oh my god, superb. By the time my first boat is on the track and already taking the lead, let's me prepare some more. We should have a competition, right? So I'm going to cut some more and I'm going to use some different colors for it and here I am ready with some more boards okay okay let's have a competition here we go aha uh -huh. okay see 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 come on the purple board take a lead take a lead the green one is at the back of you oh my god the green one is going to lead the purple one okay now let's see this is the monster boat i suppose i've made the eyes okay uh, now i'm going to leave this monster boat at the back of this board and let's see what is happening okay let me try okay okay fine see that's lovely fantastic i would say oh wow that that's superb i would say i would say like i've never driven the boat anytime but then this is like uh, real phenomenal for me i'm just enjoying it and see now the purple boat is taking the lead and here on the second is like green and the red one now the monster boat has also become alert see again they all want to be friends and they don't want to move alone see wow that's superb now let's see okay the monster is now alert now yes that's superb so let's see how it's lovely okay see Still they have that competition in them and then still they are just moving lovely. They are changing their track also because they are a little bored uh, going on the same way, same journey so they are changing their track and they are just moving around. That's superb. I mean I would say for such a long time that's superb. Then I would say what is the science behind actually? The movement is actually by the Maragoni effect. The boat floats on water due to the surface tension. The surfactant placed at the end of the boat slowly dissolves in water and creates a difference in the surface tension of nearby water, causing water to flow away from the back of the boat, hence moving the boat forward. So this is actually the science behind the boat movement. I hope this was a real fun. I enjoyed thoroughly. Oh my god, let me give a break to all my boats. They must be super tired now. But how do I stop them? Okay, here I go. I'll just put, use my fingers for that to stop them. Yes, I'm just using my fingers. Now you can see that all my boats have stopped moving but why my boat stopped this is because the difference between the surface tension of the nearby water is over now 
That's the reason why my boat stopped. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.